Hey guys, thanks for watching. So this morning in my traditional sermon, I told a story about when I started graduate school. So I went to um, seminary, that's the name for graduate school when you're training to become a pastor in New York City. And the school that I went to had very particular ways of how they wanted to do everything. And I got there and I was like, Phew, why does it have to be this way? Why do you wanna do it that way? Can't we do it a new way? What if we did it this way? Wouldn't that work better? Wouldn't that be more fair? I had so many things to complain about. And looking back on it, I'm still not sure that I was really wrong, but I was so frustrated with it. And our text for today, our gospel text, is Jesus fighting with the Pharisees kind of about a similar question. They're arguing about how they follow traditions that the people of God have followed for hundreds of years. And Jesus says, listen, it's not the traditions that are the most important thing, but you can follow them for sure, they're fine. But the most important thing is that for people who don't follow those traditions, that you respect each other. So this gospel passage has me thinking about what it's like to go back to school. So maybe you're starting at a new school like I was when I started seminary, which now was 19 years ago. Or maybe you're going back to your old school and you know exactly how everything works. But I wonder if one little thing for you to remember as you go back is that the most important thing always from the beginning of the day to the end of the day is love. You can do things the way other people do them or you can do things your own way. You can get really excited about school or you can say, ah, school's okay. I know it's important and I'm gonna get it done. But again and again and again, Jesus invites us always to love. So when you're having a hard time, remember how much God loves you and God is with you in the hard time. And when someone else is having a hard time, there also remember how much God loves you and remember that maybe you can extend some of God's love to someone else who's having difficulties. That's what I got today. God bless you.